Hello there guys and girls, this is Pixel and today I've got a super exciting video for you all that I had no idea I was going to record but I left my house yesterday and someone tweeted at me showing what I thought was a glitched out player's choice crate, you know because the PCC ones they have Voltex, Zombas and a load of distortion decals in them, you know they're kind of annoying to open for that reason but their crate had Dracos in and a load of other very rares from different crates, you know, Hex Phase, Septum, MG88, you know, and it was completely different. Turns out Rocket League, I don't know if they've really said anything about this, but they've just completely changed up players' choice crates and just added stuff that a lot more people like. It seems a lot more like an up-to-date players' choice crate, and it no longer says players' choice crate 1, even if it ever did, I'm not sure, but it just says players' choice crate. So it seems they're not going to bring out new players' choice crates, they're just going to adapt the current one, which is a great idea. Uh, so a lot of you won't have known that this has actually happened, but either way, we're going to get in it today and open over 100. I got 101, just so I could put that in the title. <laughs> Players' Choice Crates with new stuff in them. And then obviously I'll do trade-ups in a couple of days because tomorrow on the channel, we're going to be doing King of the Court to decide who becomes captain of Team OG. So it's going to be interesting. But in the crate now, we have the Shibuya from C1, the Merc Narwhal from C2, the Shisa from C3, the Sticker Bomb from, I think, the Nitro, but don't quote me on that. MDGA the same. Dominus and Aitzkin, I have no idea where it's from. MJ88 from C3. Septums from maybe Turbo, I'm not sure. Hex Face from Nitro, I believe. The same imports. And then Draco instead of Voltex, because, you know, Voltex kind of fallen off a little bit. But now there's no active crate with Voltex in, and Draco's has two active crates that they're in. So Draco's could fall in value. I don't know how it works, to be honest. I don't want to be accused of manipulating prices for stating my opinion. You know, but uh, either way, we're going to get straight in. So now it's going to be so much more interesting to open these crates because... Like, whenever, whenever else you do it, you've got a load of rare decals that you don't like, and distortion after distortion after distortion. Now you've got a load, a multitude of very rares. You've got some familiar faces, such as the Narwhal, Shisa, and Shibuya, but you've also got Dracos. So that means for trade-ups, you're going to get something really sick. Just one painted exotic wheel, and it's guaranteed to be good, because Dracos and Zombas are great. Whereas Voltaics, as of recently, they've kind of fallen off the trail. Like I said, the value isn't great. So this is a great, subtle change to the player's choice crate, and I, I assume... The last thing that Rocket League are going to do until the Christmas update. So I'm pumped to do it. 100 crates is a lot of crates. So just going to sit back and relax. I'm going to try not talk this energetically and long for the whole video. So maybe if you want to pause it right now, go get a drink, go get some food, come back. And we're just going to have a good time. I'm going to sit back. I'm not going to talk about the whole thing. And we're just going to have a good time. So I'll drink to that. <coughs> Ashisha. Ashisa, I should say. But yeah, that's a throwback. It is cool to get these kind of decals with the chance of still getting, you know, these sick painted wheels. There's no double drop rate. There's no, uh, there's nothing to sort of improve my chances. Just the fact that I'm opening 100 crates, you'd expect at least one mystery decal or painted exotic. It lagged. What are, what are they? Oh my gosh, I thought they were white. That's still sick. But I thought they were white. It lagged and it was a painted Draco. Sky Blue Dracos, Player's Choice, Series 1. <laughs> I can't believe it. It lagged. I thought in the in as soon as it came up in the showroom, I knew it wasn't white, but in the crate, I thought for a second, a split second, that we may have just pulled some titanium white Dracos. We are four crates in, ladies and gentlemen. And we've got some painted Dracos out of this crate. <sighs> That's insane. They look sick because I think what makes a, paint, a, a painted exotic really valuable is how different it looks to the original. You know, how much it differs from the original one. And uh, that looked that looked so different to the sort of yellowy, orangey, red, warm colour of the original Dracos to the cool sky blue colour of those. So, no double drop rate and four crates in. We have a painted exotic as I speak about it. So, oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. A septum wheel, I'll take it. Look, honestly, realistically, we could get nothing in the next 100 crates and I'll be kind of okay with it because I, I would expect at least out of 100 crates, a mystery decal or a painted exotic, and we got that. See, like, if that was the original player's choice crate and we got Sky Blue Voltex, mm, that'd be okay, but Sky Blue Dracos, I don't even know what they go for. They just look insane. Uh, and that's just some crate look for you. Dominus GT, I love that. We are going to be doing trade-ups, like I said. And five players' choice crate imports are now even more valuable because, obviously, the exotic wheels are better and more favoured by the community. So, all in all, a great start. Just that little lag. That's all I'm waiting for, that tiny bit of lag at the end just to know that something's painted. And it won't be like a painted hex phase or anything. It only ever lags in crate when it's a painted thing that you can see, such as a, a painted wheel or a painted car. You can't get a painted car because the imports are all old. So, when it lags, it'll either be a painted septum or a painted exotic wheel. So... Um, I'm holding out hope. And also, with with old rare decals, I don't think 
except the sticker bomb and maybe the MDGA. The others can't be painted, so, you know, there's if you're going to get something painted, it's more likely, I guess, to be something better because there's less bad items you can get painted, so... All in all, this crate is a good combination. I don't know if you can get these two, these two here painted because these three can't be, but I assume you can. I assume they're not changing that sense, but hey, sky blue, I really thought they were white. Like, it's hard to tell in crate, like, sky blue can sometimes look white. Like, I made that mistake before. That kind of sparked the whole colorblind issue on my channel back at the start of this year. Uh, I called sky blue loopers white, and I thought they were, and turns out they were sky blue. So, I can see why someone would make the mistake, particularly someone like me, but still... That was insane. Just to see a completely different color Draco in the crate. First up in my, my first five new players choice crates to get something like that is sick. And we still got another like essentially like nearly 100 crates since then. So we could just get some painted zombies and just make it the best crate opening ever. Now I've said I'm not going to spoil things in like the title or, or the thumbnail or anything. But I will still make it like so people want to see it like you will not believe this. Something like that. You know, uh, hex face. Maybe it's painted. Maybe it's not. So, because I, I, I want people to try and watch my videos regardless, depend as opposed to when I get something good. I want people to just be happy to watch my videos. So, um, but the annoying thing like with that is hard to transition because I made a crate opening recently. I did get some painted wheels, but I didn't spoil it or anything. I think less people watch because they thought, as I haven't spoiled anything, there's going to be nothing good. So it's going to be hard to make that transition. But I just need to one day get like white zombies and not put it in the title, and then maybe everyone will suddenly think about think about watching all my crate openings and stuff just to see what I get. But hey. What a great start that was. I'm, I'm finally over that. I've got my mic on my uh, my boom arm here. Uh, just because I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the love. The MG88. Always love that decal from the minute it came out. Bit more water. I need to be careful. I got one more sip of water. That is a... If you're ever making YouTube videos, key error. Having this much water. That is what I've got to sustain me <laughs> for the next half an hour. Of non-stop talking. I'm going to try and stop though. So I'm just going to... Next to crates, I'm just going to sit back and relax and just talk if necessary. So let me know in the comments, of course, what you did get to drink or eat. That was painted. Uh, I'll be interested to hear. And of course, leave a like on this video if you do want to see more. And obviously for some luck. We've had some good luck to start. So leave likes for... A like for some luck. Let's see what we got coming up now. Narwhal. Okay, no lag. I'm going to do a no look on the next one. Give myself a natural chance to breathe. Because I say I'm going to stop talking. No, I just don't. I'm so used to recording crate openings. I've been doing it for over a year. So, here we go. <sighs> oh my days! When I just opened my eyes, the like Draco was highlighted. I thought it was a different color, and then I saw a mystery decal, and it it all got a bit crazy. Come on, so far so good. We've had some good crate luck. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it rolling, baby. Come on. It's kind of upsetting seeing a normal zombie wheel there. I won't lie. I will not lie. That kind of sucks a little bit. <laughs> Let's go again. Come on, baby. Please. Oh, I just love that they've changed the crate. It's so much better to not get a distortion every time you get a very rare. Like, it's not the distortion was bad. It's just seeing it on the spin just makes them boring to look at. Now we've added a splash of color. We've got hex face, septums, snake skin, just to mix up the look of the crate. You know what I mean? I much love to Rockley for doing this. I, again, I don't think they like tweeted out about it or anything. Like, it seems really strange the way they did it, but you know, I like it. I like it. People thought it was a glitch, but no, it's just good. They might have tweeted out about it. I might just be talking rubbish, but I don't know. Either way, let's keep going. 20 crates in, 80 more to go, 81. And yeah, if we can get the next 420, the same as the first 20, I'll be happy. A load of painted wheels. I'm looking for that little bit of lag. A tiny little bit of lag, that's all we want. I think I'd like out of 100 crates as well to have at least three chances at an import trade up. So 15 imports worth of items. So maybe like 10 imports, 20 very rares, and 25 rares. You know, that sort of thing. Hex face. You know, that's the kind of balance I'd like. Just enough to get three import trade ups, a chance at a painted exotic. Because I think, I think in three, I can get one. I think I can get one. And no matter what I get, it's going to be good. Like, it used to be good for Zombra and Voltaic. Now it's even better with Zombra and Draco. So, it just makes the trade-up a whole lot more valuable and a whole lot more worth it. So, yeah. Oh, a hex phase. All right, I'll take. I'll take. Looks good. Just color, man. I just like it. I wonder how they decided what to put in the crate, though. Because it's player's choice, but we didn't choose. They must have some kind of statistic to see what either what items are traded most, what items are used in-game most. Because we didn't vote on it like people did with the distortion. And Shibuya, I mean... 
I used to use that decal back in August 2016 when I first got the PS4 and it's the only decal I had. But what made them pick that, you know? And the narwhal as well. I don't really understand that one. Um, the Shisa I get is for the Octane. Nice looking decal. Um, I get the MDGA a little bit. Uh, but I don't get the Takumi sticker bomb either. So maybe that was sort of random, but the very rares, I understand. I just don't know how Rocket League themselves could have come up with that, but I, I like that. I don't really mind it. It's just, it feels like a new crate, but it's not. And like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just crazy. And we got a painted wheel of the, like a new wheel. Because the, the, if we got painted zombie, that'd be sick. But the fact we got a Draco wheel in a player's choice crate first up is amazing. Because that's something we, we could only have done from until very recently where Zombies have been in this crate since it came out so it just feels awesome I wish they were white if they were white I would have spoiled that probably in the thumbnail and title but you have to make exceptions for those sort of rules you know as would anyone you know you want people to watch but yeah again I'm gonna sit back relax not look for this one it's what I need come on I'm just gonna wait all the way all the way I can't. <laughs> I can't. I couldn't do it. I had to just look. I think the reason crates are so addictive is because it's just a small chance that any crate you open could be a sick one. Like, any crate. This crate could be Striker White Zombies. Or it could be an Octane Shisa. Like, that's how crazy it could be. That's how insane or very normal the crate could be. Like, the fact you could get $500 worth of an item. I don't know how much Striker White Zombies are worth on PC, but let's just say that. In one crate in this very moment is what's insane the odds are astronomical but still let's go baby i'd love to i'd love a mystery decal thrown in there as well you know what i mean i think the only thing you can really get is a heat wave because unless they've updated in, unless they've updated the mystery decals if we get if if we get anything any mystery decal that isn't hexed biomass heat wave slipstream labyrinth or parallax so that we get a 20XX, a Tora, something like that. We'll know that they've updated the mystery decals in this crate. Which is something I haven't found out yet. I don't know if anyone knows because uh, I haven't seen any actual official information about this crate. It's just kind of happened. But say you pull a 20XX from this crate, you will know that they've also updated the mystery decals. Which would be huge because that, again, increases the value of, of the crate, I suppose. Shibuya, in between the imports. Okay. Alright, game. I see what you're throwing down. 69 remaining. Bam. Come on. Come on. We, we don't want to peak too early again. We don't want to peak in the first 10 crates, as I often do. My last 100 crate opening, Saffron Zombas in the first 10 crates. This one, Sky Blue Draco's first 5 crates. I think Saffron Zombas was the 5th crate, and this one was the 4th crate. So, we don't want to keep peaking too early. We want to make sure there's some reason to keep going. Come on. Give us that reason. Please. Oh, I'm going to have to finish my water off. Wasn't enough for a sip, but oh well. 67 now. We're a third of the way there. So I'm still I'm still holding out hope. And then straight after this, I'm just going to fill up my water bottle, record the trade ups. Because I, I love it when I've done a massive crate thing to record the trade ups straight after because I'm in the mood and I'm down to get something good still. I'm still on that buzz, that high. I mean, it's currently 10 p.m. recording right now. I'll probably finish this at like... Oh... 10 30 or something then i'm gonna have to record the trips to like 11 so i will be a little bit loud i'm sorry family but it's got to be done it's got to be done videos need to be made hex phase i just want that bit of lag and then a white zomba you know that would be that would be the best thing but no matter 65 crates remain and so far Okay, not too bad, not too bad at all. And then at the end of this video, as I often do for trade-ups, just so you know what to expect for the video, I'll do a quick little calculation to figure out how many or how many trade-ups we can do in the next video. So you'll know whether I'm going for one import trade-up, two, three, four, or five, you know? I can't imagine it'd be any more than five, especially like, I think we've only pulled like four imports or something, which means overall we can expect to get sort of 12-ish, maybe then other items make that up to 15, but probably not 20, so unless we improve in luck as the video goes on, it'll probably stay at 3 import trade-ups, but it might even be 2, you never know, hopefully not, but it could still just be 2, so we'll see how it goes, but either way, that's going to be a fun video to make. So yeah, all of a sudden, I love it when I have like days of like massive bursts of motivation, like today, uh, 100 crate opening, tomorrow, uh, King of the Court for Team OG, day after, trade-ups, then the day after that, another gameplay video, Involving some items, and then that's my videos done. 
up until Tuesday, which is great. It means, you know, I can sort of chill, relax, have fun, play games, that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's that's what we're doing right now. Oh, lag! Have we? I think they're cobalt. They don't look as blue as the other ones, but I think! <laughs> we just, they're definitely cobalt. Oh, painted certified! What is this? How many, how many inputs have we got? We've only got, I swear we got ZSR, but we didn't. We only got three. They are Cobalt. Victor Cobalt and Sky Blue Dracos. We've had two painted. That lag is beautiful. Two painted exotics. This is already more than I expected. I mean, Cobalt Dracos, they're okay. Uh, Sky Blue Dracos are awesome. Victor Certified as well. That needs to be taken into account. So we've opened 40 crates and we've got two painted exotics. Meaning if we keep going by those odds, we will end up with five painted exotics, which I would love. It's being kind to me right now. Yeah, there you go. I got a bit hyped at the end, I know. I saw, I saw them in the crate. They weren't as white looking as the sky blue, but they did look blue, so it made me think they were cobalt. So, you know, I'm not too terrible, but the sky blue do freak me out a bit because the light blue combined with the glow of the Dracos did look white. I, for a second, I thought they were gray, and I'd be a little bit triggered, but just seeing that spark of lag, it's like just knowing that something good is going to come is such an amazing feeling. All right, Narwhal. Yep, yep, yep. Painted certified as well. That can't be missed. Maybe we get another a mystery decal thrown in there too. But yeah, two painted exotics. That's insane for a 40 crate opening. Like absolutely insane. And I would say they're like they they are really good, and they are, but they're almost bad in this crate because it's it's Dracos and Zombas, man. You know. But then again, you can get some pretty trashy Zombas. Like you can get burnt sienna Zombas, which are okay. Like they're but they're pretty bad. You can get orange Zombas. I've had them so many times. Um, so realistically, I don't mind getting all painted Dracos, to be honest. Snake skin. Just Rocket League. If you're out there, if you can hear me at all. Just, uh, I'm not going to be, like, greedy and say, like, a massively high item, like, white zombies. But just, if you can chuck in a painted exotic that's worth more than the two we've got so far, just a bit of spice, that would be great. So, yeah. Please and thank you if you can hear me. But there we go. You liking the video earlier, that got us that luck for the painted certified Draco, you know? So if you haven't liked the video already, give it a like and see what we get in these next 50. I think you'll be surprised. Yeah. We're not even halfway through. That's the best part. Oof, Shisa. I just want to see that lag. I want to see that lag back to back. Give me something sick. Come on. <sighs> All right, come on. 55 more. I just, I just keep thinking if this was um, a normal crate opening, like with old PCCs, they would just be two painted Voltaics. I don't think you can even get paint, uh, Cobalt painted Voltaics. So just to know that they swapped them to a good exotic, or a better exotic, I should say. I don't want to trash talk Voltaics too much, but recently, you know, they just haven't been as lucrative. Come on. Whereas this time last year, when Red Lightning Wheels were the rarest thing or the most valuable thing in the game, when I got them this time last year... Uh, Zombas weren't even a thing. Neither were Dracos. Dracos were a distant thought. Zombas were, they, they were in, they were ready to go into the game, but they haven't been released yet. Not for another few weeks. So, I think it's weird. Um, I actually, I missed the C4 update. The crate came out the day I came on holiday, I went on holiday. So I didn't do a C4 crate opening on the channel for like two weeks in, after, until after they came out. And I'm pretty sure my first C4 crate was an Octane ZSR. Uh, that was, it was at least in my first 20, and that was like mad to get, to get the import car, because now if you get a new import car in the new crate, it's like, meh. But back then, import cars were like the thing. When they were like only when they only made one, they had the Type S, then the Octane ZSR. It was only really those two, because the Roadhog XL, x Mark II, Donus GT, Takumi RXT, they all came out all of a sudden, all together. Whereas the Type S and the Octane ZSR were the first two cars that everyone really freaked out about. Then there was the Endo. And then after the Endo, the interest of the import car started to die a little bit. The Mantis was okay. But the interest was down. Uh, the Jaeger, that had a bit of hype, but then it died really quick. Um, so, yeah. Feels weird. I feel like such a veteran when it comes to crate knowledge. Because I have been dabbling in it for like a year and a, and a bit now. But, yeah. Come on, give me some lag. No lag. I'm literally, I'm literally just watching the spin for lag now. I don't know when it started happening or why, but it just did. I noticed on my crate opening, I did... My last 100 crate opening I did, I think, or for a video or something on Double Drop Rate, I believe. And I just noticed the lag and I was like, hmm, yeah. <laughs> All right. Normal Zombies, that's our second pair. Game, can we please not? Mm -mm, that's not what we want. 
Okay, we got, we're got over halfway now. At this rate, with only three imports pulled, I thought we pulled more. I swear we got our ZSL, but apparently we didn't. Uh, we're going to struggle to get three import trade-ups. So that's now our goal. Three import trade-ups solid there. Uh, a hex phase. Okay, I like that. I don't mind very rares. All very rares would be great. 50 very rares. That makes 10 imports, which is two import trade-ups, which I would love. Come on. Let's do this. Give us something good. Come on. There we go. I'll take that import. CSR, there's the one we're looking for. All right. Like, that would have been scenes a year ago. Wasn't out a year ago. 11 months ago. <laughs> All right. Another no look. You ready for this? How's that snack and drink you got going on? You still drinking? Still eating? Or are you finished? You got back for more? Let me know. Hey! Back-to-back -back imports. Let's go. That's at least five now, I think. Okay. We got, I think we got two GTs, two Type S's, and one ZSR, if I remember correctly. Then two Painted Dracos, of course, which is insane. Oh, stick a bomb. Mm, 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 okay. Not really feeling it. But hey, it's still something. Let's start on the Dracos. We've had some good Draco luck this, this, this time around. All right. Let's go. Okay, I thought there was a bit of lag there, but there wasn't. It's going to be MDGA. I think that, I think that's supposed to mean make Dominus great again. I think that's sort of a surround like like to do with like similar to the presidential campaign. It didn't come out at the same time. I think it came out in the Nitro crate, but still, I think that's what it stands for. It looks quite patriotic as well with the stars and the stripes, so it would make sense. A lot of sense, actually. Shisa. That's probably some like Spanish, Latin, Portuguese, some kind of word for like tiger or something like lobo wheels that's spanish for wolf and there's a wolf on the lobo wheels so like you think oh what a cool name when it turns out it's actually just another language so smart from rocket league i guess narwhal and that that's pretty self-explanatory the narwhal um right this so we're just we're just shooting through these crates i love it i love it and uh yeah before we do continue though i do want to give a little shout out to my sponsor so Roll that. If you do go to that website and buy Rocket League items, be sure to, after you've made the order, take your order number and tell it to the live chat in the bottom corner and they can start processing your order and it gets done quickly. Trust me, it works. But let's continue with the video. All right, first crate back. We get a sticker bomb. Let's continue. Let's continue. I did, as, as I said, fill up my drink because I'm weak. I needed that fluid in my body. 40 final, 40 crates remaining in the last 20. No painted exotics like the first two sets of 20, but we did get a couple imports to bring it back to the trailer video coming up soon where we could get another painted exotic, so it's all good. I'm feeling it. Hex face. Oh, in between the Draco and the mystery, though. Ah. Is it painted? Certified, okay. Gonna do another no look. <sighs> Come on. I didn't hear any lag. Yes, Type S. Sweet car. I remember I made a whole video dedicated to me opening, I think, a C3 crate, getting like a rare or a very rare to then trade up to an import. I think I got a rare, trade up to a very rare to make my fifth very rare, then trade up my very rares to get a Type S. And that was the whole video. Just a five very rare trade up to a Type S, essentially. And it got like 20,000 views or something. And this was when I was a tiny like channel like compared to now. And it just, it blows my mind how, like, YouTube works. I remember, um, a year ago yesterday, I uploaded me unboxing Red Lightning Wheels, which was the most sought-after item in the game at the time. Uh, and I just freaked, like, I freaked out, for one. But you'll see me in the video when I get the Lightning Wheels. I'm looking around. I'm not looking around at anyone, obviously. I'm literally looking around just to make sure, just to make sure that everything was recording. Because I was recording using my old PC, which was a liability at best. So I was like, and I was recording the audio with my laptop as well. Uh, so I was looking around like, is the PC recording? Is the laptop recording? I think everything was record recording. And then I freaked out again. Like, I was so pumped and I'm so glad I got it record. I was not the first to upload it to YouTube, I think. But one of the first, for sure. Um, and it was the first, I think the thing that was crazy was it was the first painted exotic I ever got. And I've never got that in a crate again. I've had red voltaics in a trade up, I think three times. I, I, I've got it quite a lot. Um, but in that crate, that one crate did change my life. I don't want to go as far to say that that crate made my channel. I didn't go from 1,000 to 200,000 subscribers because of that one crate. But I was in the position to then be able to upload every day 
to get to where we are, of course, with the help of you guys. And it means the absolute world to me. So, yeah. Just want to give some massive love to you guys for that. So, uh, yeah. That's my little uh, little backstory about the red lightning slash voltaic wheels. Come on. And voltaic wheels are now only in C2, which is just crazy. Back where they used to be. Before February. So, it's weird. I think what baffles me is that, yeah, I genuinely didn't see anything tweeted about from Rocket League. They, they just sort of did it. And no one really knew about it. I knew about it like, I knew about it instantly because you guys, when something updates, when something happens, you tweet me. And I really love that. Keep doing that. Because if one day it happens and I'm actually home, <laughs> I'll be able to make a video about it. Because I would have been able to make a video about it yesterday, like straight away. Uh, well, two days ago for you now. Uh, but I wasn't able to because I was out. But I, I heard it from you guys and I then, you know, got the crates sorted and all the keys. So... Yeah, so thank you to everyone that does tweet me and stuff like that. Everyone that follows me on Instagram, be sure to go check me out on there as well. Uh, I really like the way my Instagram looks, actually. It's quite clean, very nice. I don't spam you with posts. I don't post a lot, but I, when I do post, it's something cool. Maybe it's a selfie, maybe it's a setup pic, something cool like that. But hey, another Zomba. Third exotic. We've had more Zombas in this video than Dracos, but we've had two painted Dracos and zero painted Zombas. So. And no non-painted Dracos. Every Draco we've had has been painted. Maybe now you can hit us with a mystery decal? Nah, snake skin. We're one away from a mystery again. I feel like that's happened a lot. Um, but hey, what can you do? Alright, 29 more crates. Then we'll add them up. We've had a few more imports in the sort of second half of the crate opening. So I think we will hopefully have enough items to get to the three import trade-ups. Which would be great. Hex phase. If nothing does happen in that video, I'll be kind of annoyed. Because I really, I'd love something sick to happen. But hey-ho. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Whew. Feeling it. Feeling good. MG88. Very rare is better than a rare. Five times better than a rare, to be honest, as far as I'm concerned. And to be honest, I did I did use an MG88. Like, I don't need anything for my car. Like, Black Sombers and 20XX, that's what I'm using. They're both certified. They're really high-level certification, so... No queries there. That is kind of like the car that I'm known for now. Um, but if I get white zombies or white Dracos, I'm probably going to use them, you know? But look at the car right now. It looks sick. Let's go. Come on. The Draco gods have blessed me. Let the zombies please do the same. Rocket League, you heard my, you heard my plea. I said a painted exotic worth more than the other two. Which is quite hard. It would probably have to be... You know, I suppose a crimson, a purple, or a white Draco, or a crimson, a purple, and a white Zomba. I haven't seen purple Zombas. Do they even exist? Purple Zombas? They must exist. I just don't recall really ever seeing them. I, I must have seen them. But no one's, no one like wears them. In the same way like purple Pulsar Swiss. I remember they used to be one of the most valuable wheels. Because like, I think the Camping Rusher did make a video on them that made them more valuable. Like, he, he's spoken about like price manipulation and stuff, but... It, without a, it, it goes without saying that him saying that something's going to increase in value, you can say all you want, don't take my word for it, don't believe me, but you saying, like him saying that, because he is a person of influence, it is going to affect it somewhat, because people look up to him. Like, as much as you can, like he will say, you know, fair enough credit to him for saying, you know, uh, don't take, don't quote me on this, don't, don't take what I say as, like, gospel. Him saying that wheels are going to triple in price is going to affect the price a little bit. If he pays 15 keys for a wheel in a video that was worth 8, people are people that see his video aren't going to sell that wheel for 8 anymore. They're going to be like, well, Russia bought it for 15. I'm going to sell it for at least 12. And all of a sudden the price goes straight up. And whether or not it was his intention to do that, he said it wasn't, so I don't believe it was. It, it, I can see why it looks that way, because that's the result. Um, but yeah, so the Purple Pulses wheels, going back to that, uh, after he made a video about them and in general, because they're rare... Like, they just were, like, way up there. Purple wheels, you don't tend to see a lot. I mean, I don't know, it's weird. On my PS4, my, my Octane looks great. I've got, like, a heat wave combination with red Dracos and purple Dracos, but I don't really play the PS4 that much anymore, let alone, you know, use the car on it. So, yeah. But it does look sick. You guys helped me create that on stream. And actually, I got them in a trade-up, those purple Dracos, trading up five painted imports. It was so risky, but I had nothing. It was double drop rate. I'd done five import trade-ups, and I got nothing. So I thought, right, I'm just going to do a sixth one. All these painted items, everything in. And I got Victor certified purple Dracos. In the same way, I got Victor certified cobalt Dracos in this video. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, but let's see. Let's trade up all my items. Um, not, not, not today, but I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking about trading up all my items, getting another chance at 
Painted Drakers, because I know we're having at least one chance, if all else fails. But with all the rares and various we've got, we should have at least two by now. But I want it to be three so bad, but I think if we, for it to be three, we're going to need at least a, two imports minimum in these last 15 or so crates. No mystery decals showing up. I do really want to try and see, you know, if we get a mystery decal, if it will still be the old set of mystery decals, or if it is possible to get another, like a new one. But I doubt we're getting a mystery decal. Not that previous crate luck affects current crate luck. Like, you can get 10 white zombies back to back. It is just randomized. But obviously, the possibility of all 10 happening in a row is it is less likely. But one does not affect the previous. Like, it's, it's similar in, like, roulette. Like, you can get 10 blacks in a row. And on the 11th go, you're still just as likely to get a black as you are a red. But to get 11 blacks in a row is obviously a lot less likely. Like, that's, that's how it works. You know, obviously... Oh my gosh, okay, that was like, that was like exotic import, exotic import, exotic import, and then we land on the Draco, and it's not painted. You know, the luck for Draco's been, uh, for exotic wheels has been pretty good, you know, we've had 86 crates opened, and we've got 6 exotic wheels, so if we divide that by 6, that's like, less, less more frequent than 1 in 15, which is pretty good for exotics. Adonis GT, that's what I like. Come on. Come on. I think anyway, yeah, that's like between 1 in 14 and 1 in 15, you know, it's like 2 in 29 or something, which is pretty good, I think, I think exotic wheels are supposed to be like 4%, and we're getting them at like 6%, so it's decent, back to back imports, I think, unless I've not been paying attention, we've got something in between the two, but hey, we're getting these imports that we need, baby, I love it, I love it, <laughs> all right, come on, come on, boys, come on, tell you what is really annoying, though, um, Zach plays Kieran and uh, Zverikon. They'll all know about this, but uh, we recorded, obviously, the King of the Court that's going up on my channel tomorrow. And then after um, after that happened, I sort of set up a situation, a scenario. And then what I thought was doing was recording it. And I pranked Zach. I pranked him so hard. I had him so good. And uh, my recording didn't work. I just couldn't find it. I don't think it recorded. And oh my, I tweeted about it. It was such a good prank. It was so much better than what he did on me. Like, he pranked me um, on his channel when we were making a thumbnail. He just trolled me. It was more of a troll than a, a hardcore prank. This was a solid prank. And it's my best one yet, and it didn't record. It sucks so much. Like, to prank someone when they're expecting it is hard enough. But once you failed, to then prank them again? Just dropped my controller. But he's going to be expecting me to prank him at all times now. Uh, and then he genuinely wasn't, and uh, I don't know. Was there a bit of lag there? Not near the end, so it probably won't be painted. The lag comes, I'd say, just before the painted exotic comes on screen, or the painted wheel. Sometimes it does just lag mid-crate, but... This has been a pretty good crate opening. The crate looks sort of, you know, been steady. We've had the two painted exotics to spice it up, and then enough imports throughout to sort of keep me going, keep me on a high, rather than just be down the whole time. And just opening the new crate in general is really cool. So yeah, um, there's also like, there's been something going on where like AI cars almost leak stuff about Rocket League because they have different sort of files. Like I think there was an AI car that played in the game and they scored a goal and they had some sort of Christmas goal explosion, like Christmas crackers, presents, all that were flying everywhere. And I think because they're computer, they can have this stuff before. Like I don't know if it's being tested or whatever. So it looks like we are going to have some kind of fat Christmas update, whether that's a new crate and like a, an update with a a car DLC or a game mode, or whether that'll be more like the Haunted Hallows crate, where it's an event, like an event crate, you collect a new kind of event currency, I don't know, I hope it is a new crate and a new like DLC, or a new crate and a new game mode, much like the rumble and the crates and all that, um, or the drop shot and the turbo crate, rather than another like Haunted Hallows sort of thing, like a proper new crate, with exotics and stuff like that, I really want to see some more exotics into the game. But you never know, because Christmas, it is like, it's a solid time of year, you know, it's a pretty big occasion. If you can have an event for Halloween, you can have an event for Christmas, so... It wouldn't surprise me if they if they did it, and the, the, the currency could probably be, like, Christmas crackers. Like, that just seems like something Rocket League would do. It's also CC, like, candy corn. Rocket League might like that sort of thing. <laughs> so that's just speculation, of course. Sticker bomb. It's weird, if you look at the Type S, I think, I think it has Chakram wheels on in the in the like the little thumbnail i don't know we got four more crates and then i'm going to do a little bit of maths to add up the trade-ups refresh my vocal cords and come back and do some trade-ups for you guys which we, which you won't see for another couple of days but still mdga so i think if we get nothing just like a couple of rares maybe an import or a fairy i'll be happy because of the two painted exotics we got because i said at the start i just like one painted exotic or mystery but if we could get 
the magical crate at the end, that'd be great. Like, you don't often get a really good crate at the end of your crate opening because it's just odds are it's going to happen in the first 90 as opposed to the last 10. But it could still happen. You never know. So it's another non-painted hex phase. Okay, we've had like four or five of them. Come on, game. Come on. Be good to us. Oh, an MGAT8, another rare. That's not too bad. All right, I think this is the final crate. Was it worth getting 101 crates? Or should I have stuck with 100? To be fair, it's always worth 101. Like, whatever I get here is going to help somehow. Unless it's a rare and I don't have four rares left over, then it won't help at all, but still. Oh, a bit of lag at the start, but it's a rare, so... Yeah, I'm going to check real quickly on the uh, the items and, and stuff like that, and then we'll go from there and see see how it's looking. Okay, so if we go quality rare. All right, here we go, here we go. Uh, okay, so we're going to trade all of them up. 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 64. So we can trade up 12. Wait, so we need one more rare. <laughs> so one more crate would have been great. So we've got 12 to add to there. 12 very rares. And then uh, let's check this. Uh, where are we at? Where are they? That's C3. There we go. 12. So we got uh, 7, 14, 21, 28, 34, plus 12 is 46. That's 9 imports we get to add on. And 9 imports to 9. 18. We need 2 more imports. If we get 2 more imports, we can do 4. So I think... That's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and do that. Yeah, so that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, if I've done it correctly, the next trader video will be trading up to four chances at Painted Drakers and Painted Zombas. Leave a like if you didn't enjoy it. Subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. I've been Pixel, you've been awesome, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.